Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast and the problem reads that replace the loading system by an equivalent force and the couple moment acting at point A. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.S.C. Hibela. So we have this particular structure being uh, loaded by a system of forces. We have been asked to replace the loading system by an equivalent resultant force and couple moment acting at point A. First things first, we need to uh, replace this inclined force into its components as the X and the Y. So we'll have those components like so and that one like so. So let's replace them. So we have this one. This one is equal to 150 times uh, the run, which is a 3 divided by 5 this gives us as 5 into 150 is 30 30 by 3 is 90 then we have 150 times the rise which is a 4 divided by 5 5 into 150 is 30 30 by 3 uh, is 120 then uh, we need to sum these particular forces. We need to sum them up into their components, the X and the Y, later on the resultant and the angle, and then take moments about point A. So we have summation of forces in the X direction. This being our reference. What we have in the X, we have a 90 plus a 50. What else? We forgot to resolve another force, which is this one, this one, like so, like so. Let's resolve this, right? This one here is going to be equal to, maybe I write it there. This one is going to be equal to 100 by uh, the rise, which is a 3 divided by 5. So this is 5 into 100 is 20, 20 by 3 is 60. So this is the one. And then we have 100 by uh, the run 4 divided by 5. 5 into 100 is 20, 20 by 4 is 80. Okay, so 90 plus 50 minus 80. What we have? It's a 60, right? 90 plus 50 minus 80. That's a 60 positive. Then we have summation of forces in the y equal to going up in our reference. Uh, we have a minus 120. Uh, we have a minus 16. Uh, what else? That's all. So this gives us a minus. 180 right only have two components the resultant using the pythagoras theorem uh, we have a 16 squared plus uh, 180 squared this is going to give us a 60 squared plus 180 squared root of that we have 189.5 uh, 74. I repeat 60 squared plus 180 squared. The root of that 189.74. Then let's find the angle. The angle is going to be equal to tan inverse. The y component, which is minus 180, divided by the x component which is 16 remember tan is equal to opposite over adjacent so you already know how the angle is going to be oriented you don't need to get confused so 180 minus 180 divided by 6 60 is a minus 3 and then i come again minus 180 divided by 30 i mean by 60 then minus 3 then tan inverse of that gives us a minus 71.57 uh, 
okay so minus 180 divided by 60 tan inverse of that is minus 71.57 so again to just explain what this this means if you have positive x and positive y a positive angle is like this okay this is positive negative angle is like this this is negative all right seeing the directions so that is where the negative is it's clockwise with respect to the positive uh, x-axis so let's do the last thing which is taking moments summation of moments and clockwise being a reference about point a all right we have a negative moment due to 120 120 by 3 uh 90 will not participate because this lever arm is equal to zero so it's 50 but we have a 60 there which is going to give us a negative moment 60 by 6 which is a lever arm then we have a clockwise moment positive due from 80 that's 80 by 1. when we sum up all these moments 120 by 3 minus 60 by 6 plus 18 by 1 will have a minus 614 okay minus 614 great let's write down this structure here we write it down sorry and then we add all those forces let's say it goes up to there and then we have this like so okay and then let's see uh let's copy it so that we bring it maybe somewhere there like that right so let's dimension it uh let's dimension it so from there to there something like this and then from there to there something like this so is that one to there something like that mm -hmm. so this is a three uh, feet a three feet and this is a one feet and so is this one a one feet and this point is a and so is this point so let's start now adding up everything we have the x which is positive so it is in this direction let's imagine it's in this direction let's say up to there and we have another component which is in that direction like so negative all right and their magnitudes, this is a 60 uh, pounds, and this is a 180 pounds. Right, and then we have a moment. We have a moment which is clockwise, so it will be going like this. And this is a 640 pounds feet. This is a 640 pounds feet. Right. So we expect the resultant which is going to be somewhere there with this angle all right so let's indicate it here let's indicate it here let's use a straight line let's say our resultant is somewhere there like this like this mm -hmm. yeah so and then we have the angle which we just indicated the angle we said is a 71 this is a 71 point this is 71.57 57 degrees and uh, it is uh, the magnitude is equal to 189.57 189.74 pounds and we have the moment we have the moment which is a 640 
clockwise pounds feet right so this is really about it we found the equivalent uh, force as well as a couple of moment acting at uh, point a and i hope the video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel uh, bye bye and i'll see you in my next uh, screencast